Hey guys, what's going on? I get this question a lot. This is just off topic. Um, people want to know <clears throat> how I got into bodybuilding, right? How I got started. What was the main reason why I got into it? Well, um, it started off when I was a kid, really. When I was a kid, I was always, always into muscular action figures. You know, we all grew up on action figures. I'm hoping most of us did. Or we're not, you know, we're fortunate enough to have action figures. But I was always big on it. When we go to the toy aisle. I would always look for the most muscular, you know, figures. For some reason, it just appealed to me, right? I love the big macho action figures, uh, and I stayed away. I wasn't really into the ninja, you know, ninja thing. I was into the muscular, buff, slow, powerful dudes. And it, uh, that sounded mad suspect. And it, it, it trans, it went into my video games that I liked, the video games that I played, the, the cartoons that I watched. Everything, you know, I, I was always like muscles, muscles. I love muscles, even as a kid. You guys know me, I grew up with this weird physique, skinny arms, skinny legs, but big uh, stomach and big cheeks. It was, you know, I was I was not built for, for bodybuilding. But um, I was always big on, on muscular toys. And then I met Dragon Ball Z. Everybody knows I'm a big Dragon Ball Z fan. And I still, and I just don't have time to watch anymore. But uh, when I was like around, I think 10 or something, I fell in love with Dragon Ball Z. Actually not 10, I think 9. I just fell in love with it, uh, and I was always into the muscular figures. I hated Dragon Ball because in Dragon Ball, the only buff dude was like Master Roshi when he would he would do that stupid you know transformation thing. But in Dragon Ball Z, when I start, you know, if you guys are, are, are lower followers of Dragon Ball Z, you see it starts off in Dragon Ball. People are like skinny and look weird, and Dragon Ball Z they start getting buffer and buffer around the freezer saga, and then you start getting into like the the brawly thing. So I was always I was connected with these muscular figures in Dragon Ball Z. Uh, you know, when I first saw Raditz, I was like, man, this dude's probably, you know, you know, pretty buff. When I saw Nappa, you know, I was, uh, you know, I was always a big Nappa fan, you know. Uh, don't let me, don't get me started on Brawley. I would look at Brawley and be like, man, I wish I could look like this. This guy's fucking huge. Look at his shoulders. He does behind the neck presses in his sleep. And, um, Android 13, if you guys saw the movie. Even when the video games came out, right? I had a Tenkaichi 3 or whatever it was. I had a squad. For only muscular dudes. Like, I had a, because, you know, you could do 5 on 5 in that game. I had a squad that had Android 13, Brawley, Spopovich in a Boo Saga, Freezer in his last Transform State when he's, like, super um, muscular. I had, uh, I mean, I, all the muscular dudes, you just name them. I had them on, on that team. And I just, and my friends would never understand because they were like, dude, the muscular dudes are the slowest characters in the game. Why do you like them? I said, I don't know. And I, in fact, I found a way to make those muscular dudes. Beat like everybody was playing like Gogeta level four in the video games. They were picking the super cheesy fast characters, and I was using the slow guys like uh, freaking uh, Recoom, you know, and shit like that. And I was kicking the asses because I was like, you know what? Even though it's harder to play with these muscular characters, I'm gonna find a way to find their strengths and weaknesses, and and you know, use it to my advantage. And eventually, I I mean, I, I told at one point. I got so good. I was using Android 16, right? And I think it was Tenkaichi 3, I believe. Ultimate Tenkaichi 3 or some shit. And I was, we were doing 5-on-5, five five, and my first character would beat everybody else's 5 characters. Because the thing is, I was so slow, my character was so slow, that he was hard to counter. Because, you know, these guys were used to fighting against the fast characters. So when they, you know, they're trigger happy, ready to press buttons and stuff. And when they're fighting my characters, I'm like, pss, 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 pss. so I was doing combos. But anyway, back to the video. So I was always big in, in, on, on, even in Street Fighter, you know, watching the cartoons. I used to love Guile, Sagat, Bison, all the big dudes. Uh, what other thing I used to watch? But yeah, Dragon Ball Z had the biggest, biggest impact on my life. Um, in Marvel, X-Men, whatever you want to call it, I used to love, uh, the juggernaut, I used to love Thor, you know, all the buff dudes. So when I got to, I think, 16, right, when I started college, I wanted to go to the gym and start working out. But they wouldn't let me in because you had to be 18. So I used to just do push-ups and things like that, and I used to try to sneak inside. And at the time, I didn't know about bodybuilding. You know, all I wanted to do was, you know, be base. I was just going in and just do bicep curls. You know, I didn't care about chest or shoulders, back, legs, and I definitely didn't care about nutrition. And that's why... I had st I stopped lifting because after a while, I had stopped making gains and I was wondering why. And I was like, man, and every time I remember every time I read an article on how to build muscle, I would skip the diet part because I, I would always see diet, diet, protein, carbs. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Skip, skip, skip. I just thought you go to the gym and you lift weights and boom, you look like broadly. So for years, I was wasting my time, no gains whatsoever. And um, it's, like I said, it's not until when July, July 2011, that I started. 
seeing how, how important dieting was, that you couldn't just lift weights and hope to get big. Because what happened was I, I got big when I first started lifting and just shrank. I had no idea why. I was eating like what? How many calories a day? Almost nothing. So, so yeah, that's the biggest reason why I actually got into that. It was, it was, it was my obsession with muscular action figures, muscular characters in Dragon Ball Z and other cartoons and video games and things like that. And um, obviously, it's not attainable. That physique is not attainable. But uh, I just, you guys know me. I just like striving for the impossible, just to try, just to be like, hey, you know, fuck it. At least I'll try my hardest. I don't want to set a goal that's accomplishable. Like that's that's boring. Or I want to do something that somebody has already done or that, that can't be done. I like venturing into new grounds, you know. I always believe that if I was born back in the, in the, in the ancient days, I would have been a fucking, you know, uh, Christopher Columbus and shit. I'd be exploring places because I, I get bored of doing the same thing that everybody else is doing, you know. I get bored of the norm. That's if you guys notice me. I, even in bodybuilding, I'm always trying new shit. I'm always trying different methods, different this, different that. Because I get bored of doing the same thing. But, uh, yeah, so that's why... So I got started by the building. Dragon Ball Z in a nutshell.